Hey, did you know that when changes in pressure occur in the atmosphere, hence a storm system moving in, that it can cause you to have headaches? In fact, I heard from Carrie Ann, our web extraordinaire, and a few viewers asking me that very question. So I was like, hello, why not answer it? In Florida, low pressure systems can absolutely cause headaches, and that's what we're dealing with today. That's what's pushing all of that moisture in and bringing us that rain. That low pressure system, Basically, it causes the headache because it's a fast, quick change in the barometric pressure in the atmosphere. See, it drops before bad weather, so you might have that headache a day or two before the actual storm system comes in. Lower pressure pushes less into the body, and that allows tissues to expand. And that, in turn, causes pressure and pain in our joints. I know I have it. I'm sure you do, too. So, uh, you know, when the pressure drops, it causes that imbalance. Think about it this way. The air pressure when it drops is very different than the air in your sinuses, hence why you feel like your head's a balloon and it's gonna explode. So the pressure outside just varies greatly from the air. Uh, a couple things you can do, all right? You don't wanna skip meals. You wanna eat every meal of the day, all three. You could take Zofran, which is actually an anti-nausea medication, but it works, it'll help you out. Tylenol is gonna be your best friend. You wanna get plenty of rest. And my favorite trick for when this happens to me, I wrap an ice pack around my head or my neck and it really helps to ease up that pain. Just a couple tips, uh, there is a reason behind the madness. You're not crazy and thinking I get a headache every time it storms. Yeah, cause of this guy, that's the answer.